to do it. You gotta come over on this side. I guess so. Woo! Bottom fishing is so much fun. Especially when the fish are biting. <laughs> So our very first stop that day was a bait stop because we wanted to get some bait in the live well for the grouper. One of the things I do almost every time we come out here to go grouper fishing is we catch bait. Of course we're able to jig them up on the Palomar jigs and catch them on frozen thread fins, but nothing compares to live bait. It's just hard to beat. And I haven't tried these yet, but I just picked them up and they're really cool looking. These are blacked out Synod Sabiki rigs. That's the brand. They come with very, very good hooks. I just like that I don't have to bait my hooks. That is just so cool, man. Quality hooks, perfect size for good size pinfish and porgies and things like that, which is exactly what we're going for. We were catching a variety of different types of bait there on the flats, like pinfish and pigfish, and sometimes we get these little dot tails and porgies and even squirrel fish and stuff. So there's all kinds of different fish that you can catch right there on the flats that the grouper will eat. Finally got one. I knew there were some decent ones down there. We were in the pinfish nursery, I thought. Oh, Louise has got it too. There's the pinfish. Check that out, that's a good sized pinfish. Bite size for grouper. Right here, man, it's the hooks. I just can't get over how good of hooks they have on these sabikis. These are the best hooks I've seen on sabikis. I just got hit. I <laughs> get it. Woo! Fish, whatever it is. Good, good. I think he's hooked good too. Oh, I see him. What is it? Oh, it's a monster mangrove. It's a, no, it's a red grouper. Is it? It's a red grouper. Yeah, it's a red grouper. I thought oh it was a big gosh. mangrove. I thought Let's it was like see a if freaking, he's a keeper. Yeah, I thought it was a huge mangrove. Dang close, Get actually. Red grouper only got to be 20 inches. Heck yeah. Louisa, look at that. Your first fish was a keeper. Really? You see this, guys? And how you measure with a grouper, it's a pinched tail, so it's the longest point of the tail. And his mouth is just crushed up against that thing. That right there's about 20 inches and an eighth. Awesome. It's about as perfect as you get for a keeper trying to I break know, the minimum. I know. <laughs> nice red for opening of gag grouper season. Yeah, there you go. I'll let you hold your fish. Yes. Within minutes of throwing that fish in the angle, she was hooked up again. Woo! They're here. All right. Hopefully that's a grouper. It's biting like one. Oh yeah, it's a grouper. Woohoo! Welcome to grouper season. It's a nice red, Jimmy. Right. Nice red grouper. Pick it wow. up. I think we should measure this oh, one. Oh, that's for a sure. keeper. I'll tell you that right now by looking at them. Wow. That's 21 inches. Big one. That was awesome to get two really nice keeper red grouper in a row. Louisa was killing it. And yeah, he's 21. 21. Going in a cooler. Nice one, Jimmy. Oh, Louisa, you're killing it. Gag <laughs> season opening them up with a couple <laughs> reds. What? Wow. He don't like the angle. Oh, Man, that's no. the first thing I ever seen that didn't like the angle cooler. You see how quick he jumped out of there? Come on, you got a buddy in there. Stay in. Chill. <laughs> so I started jigging on the other side of the boat and Louisa hooked up again. Sean! Nice. Woo! She knows how to do it. You gotta come over on this side. I guess so. Woo! Bottom fishing is so much fun. Especially when the fish are biting. <laughs> This time it was a gag grouper. Another red, oh no, it's a gag. It's a smaller gag. Mm -hmm. All the gags have to be 24 inches. I don't know about this guy here. He ain't gonna He's make it. He's not a keeper. And guess what? Louisa ended up hooking up again. She was kicking my butt out there. Woo! Chilling All right, good. guys. We got another grouper here. What I'm using for bait here is just uh, frozen thread fins, just dropping them to the bottom. Sometimes I use a whole one, sometimes I use half of one. And I got another red grouper. Beautiful. Check it out. 
another beauty going back in. And then something big slammed my rod. Woo! I think I'm catching up to you now. Oh! You ain't coming up easy. Man, I tell you what, Louise is putting it to me today. She's already got most of the keepers in the cooler. Oh, but look what we got here. All right, Louisa, come on now. Yeah, she's been catching them all right, but it's my turn. <laughs> Look at that stud. Buddy, that is gonna taste good. This is what it's all about here, guys. Out of the plantation on Crystal River, grouper fishing. The best you'll see anywhere. And then a grouper ended up hitting the flat line with the AFW toothproof wire on it. This is not what we were looking for on our stinger rig, but we'll take it. It's another red. He's uh, not going to be having a good day. He's got hooks everywhere. They're not line shy at all, I guess. There you go, buddy. Well, no swimming away slow with him. And then Louisa hooked into another one. All right, does it feel like a big one or is it kind of normal? Oh, uh, normal. All right. Or maybe I'm just getting stronger, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a red, it's a small red. Grouper fishing is definitely one of my favorite types of fishing for many reasons, but the fight, it's not real long. They just hit it real hard and they just put everything they have into it for about a minute or so. So you just gotta give it everything you have right back because they're doing everything they can to get into those rocks and you have to keep them out of the rocks. Little guy. Throw him back in. Oh, he stayed right there. <laughs> Cute little guy. Let's get the big ones now. Louisa just kept hooking up. Woo! That looks like a good one. Oh, this is big. This is big. Whatever good, it is. Good. Oh my god. Good. Oh, oh my god. See, this is a monster. I'm coming to help. Hey. It's a big gag. Good hey. job. Ooh, frayed line. Well, there he is. Good job. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know if it's big as the last one, but it's a grouper. Oh, you know what? It's a keeper red, I think. Nice, Jimmy. That one uh, oh, yeah, that's good. looks like it's going to be big enough. I can't believe how many reds we're running in today, into today. Hold that for a second. That's what he bit on. He's still alive. <laughs> I'm gonna check him out. He might make it. Almost. Not big enough. Close, but no cigar. There he goes. The weather actually started getting a little bit rough. We could see some storms in the distance and some clouds were starting to brew. And we knew we had weather coming over the next few days, so we were trying to fish quick. Got him. I failed to meet it. Not big either though. Another red grouper. Aww. These guys are everywhere. Look at that one. I could put my hand around them like a bluegill. <laughs> this is 80 pound high seas quattro fluorocarbon leader. Quattro, because there's four colors there, you can see it kind of changing colors as I go. There's the gray and red and green and blue, just the, you know, the different colors there. It's supposed to make it a lot harder for the fish to be able to see the line. And it works, because I usually don't get uh, too many fish being line shy out here. It went right over to you. Fish on! Dang, these things are fun. What is it? It's fighting on Grouper. <laughs> Catch and release. Oh, come on up here. Let's get up here. Man, I can't believe how hard that thing pulled. I thought he was twice that size. He 
hit that bait and he started ripping the line out. Pretty gag. That's not a keeper. Oh, it's a nice fish. Uh, that's Whatever the keeper I was looking for, Louisa. Oh my gosh. That's a good fish. That's a good gag. Don't come undone, buddy. Ooh. This can be a nice one. He hit like a ton of bricks. Yeah, it's a nice one. Look at that. Wow. Louisa didn't hardly get that last one in the water. What? And this one came up right behind it. And look at this. It, someone broke someone off earlier. Or a different day. <laughs> it's got two lines in his mouth. I'm going to get that thing. You know what? It don't matter if I get that line out or not. Because this one is going home. And it's going to go in the frying pan. Mm -hmm. Look at that guy. I'll show you guys how to hold a grouper too. To not get hurt. Because these things can hurt you, man. The spikes on their back. This gill plate is razor sharp. Of course, their teeth, as you can see, I can get my fingers on them, they are just absolute fangs, so you don't stick your hand in the mouth. One way to hold it is there's a groove above its lip here and below it here. See that? You go like that, the mouth is completely closed. You can control the fish. The other way is the way I had it inside the gill, but not in the red. In that red, or especially the white area, it will slice you up super, super sharp. So stay on the outside. Wow, can't wait to get home and fillet that one up. That's a dandy.